Welcome to another episode of Behind the Drapes. And today I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about how do you go to sleep. A lot of the patients, they ask me, why don't I just go to sleep with the mask? Because a lot of times in the movies, you're depicted with the mask being placed over your face, like so, and the person slowly going to sleep and you never get to see the IV going in or the medications that actually put the patients to sleep. And I'm here to tell you, there are some instances where patients do go to sleep with only the mask. So if I give you anesthesia gases through the mask in order to make you go to sleep, what happens is you go through an excitatory phase and you start wobbling your arms. You're not quite conscious, but you're in an excitatory phase until you finally become unconscious and stop moving. So that's one of the reasons why anesthesiologists and nurse anesthetists like me tend to not put patients, adult patients, to sleep with a mask induction. And another reason being that we don't have access in case we have to give a medication really quick through their IV in case there's some kind of complication. On pediatric patients, four, five, six-year-old patients, they do go to sleep with a mask induction because they are very hesitant to get an IV placed and they usually will not allow you unless you do it forcefully. And that is quite traumatic for a pediatric patient. There's a special bubblegum smell that we place inside their mask and that way they're able to smell that bubble gum and they almost don't feel the smell of the anesthesia gases being delivered and they slowly go to sleep. It is true that you can place patients to sleep with the anesthesia mask, with gases, but it's not the optimal way. But I have done it before in adult patients that were very hesitant to get an IV. What we prefer for the adult patient is to have an IV inserted and so we can deliver a whole syringe usually of propofol and that will actually get them to sleep fast and it will bypass that excitatory phase and avoid the patient harming themselves or harming one of the team members that are in the OR at that time. So I hope this information helps for you to understand why patients go to sleep with medications through their IV and not necessarily the anesthesia gas that is being delivered. Thanks for watching and I'll check you out next time.